it remains to be seen how the law can be enforced on an island that draws tourists from across the globe. The tourism industry is trying to educate visitors, but a smattering of tourists interviewed Wednesday the day the law took effect said they had no clue. Amy Polowski, who was visiting from Phoenix, had not heard about the new restrictions on mobile devices. Officers in tourist-heavy Honolulu have discretion to issue a warning or a ticket, police spokeswoman Michelle Yu said. We realize not everyone is going to know, she said. Local laws could vary. The National Safety Council, which has been looking at the issue of distracted walking since 2015, praised Honolulu for being a leader on the issue. The small Idaho city of Rexburg passed an ordinance in 2011 making it illegal to text while driving or crossing a street or highway. Other cities have considered similar measures, said Tatiana Warwick a council spokeswoman. The ordinance aims to reduce the number of injuries after the state ranked as the 13th most dangerous for pedestrians from 2010 to 2014, said Honolulu Councilman Brandon Elefante, who wrote the measure. Elefante said he pushed the measure partly because a high school in his district with nearly 2,500 students is on a busy highway. Students at Waipahu High School did a survey and found 1,000 classmates in a 20-minute period jaywalked, crossed against traffic lights and used electronic devices while crossing, he said. The law went into effect 90 days after the mayor signed it in July. During the 90 days, police say they have passed out informational flyers across the island. Jim Cartiser, a tourist from Twin Falls, Idaho, said getting a ticket while on vacation could leave a lot of people with a sour taste in their mouth leaving Honolulu.